seized firearms at this hour. Fox 32's political editor Mike Flannery is live with more. Michael. Well, Corey, uh, Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy is still speaking inside the 10th District uh, Police uh, uh, Station here on the west side at uh, Ogden and Christiana. He says that uh, Chicago police had a plan over this bloody 4th of July weekend. Nonetheless, as you indicated, Corey, there was uh, a uh, count of casualties that could have been from Afghanistan or Iraq, but it was here in Chicago, a place some have dubbed Chirac. The uh, most interesting uh, aspect of this, as we have seen so many times, there were, uh, there, there were literally a small handful of shootings on the north side, four on the north side, and police say in... To Chicago now, where police are using amateur video of a 16-year-old boy's fatal beating to try and search for suspects in the case. <laughs> Some people blame gang violence for the brawl that killed Darian Alvarez. A mother openly grieves for her murdered son in West Garfield Park. I want my baby! I want my baby! Thank you, my baby! He was playing one, 1801 with 51st Street for multiple gunshot victims. Emergency medical technicians respond after 13 people, including a three-year-old boy, are shot in the back of the yards. We have a total of 10 adults and one three-year-old. I'm going to start getting IRs for you. Jesus Christ, 10-4. You say my mama, I say your mama. You say my mama, I say your mama. In Woodlawn, concerned citizens rally after Jonila Watkins, a six-month-old baby, was fatally shot while her father was changing her diaper in a car. Chicago, a mob town from way back. Outlaws, you know, we did what we wanted. Single what it is, homie. Nigga, what? In a place known for its criminals, Chicago's housing projects were once the breeding grounds for the city's most ruthless gangs. This is everyday beat. This ain't nothing new to us, straight up. Nigga, Built for the poor, they were rife with violence and a haven for the drug trade. You got your blows, you got your rocks, your weed. Man, the money comes so fast. It was a gold mine. It was like anything goes. Rival gangs did anything to control these high rises. You're talking about communities that are held hostage. I heard the gunshot, and his mama came and she jumped on top of him. We catch you over here again, we don't kill. So, Duan, you're from Chicago, right? Yes, sir. I was born and raised on the south side of Chicago. Uh, how was it living there? Uh, living there was real rough. When I say rough, I mean rough. Right? It was kids getting exposed to things that at an age they should never see. So how does that make you feel knowing that those kids, you know, experienced that? Um, it just, it just weakens my heart just knowing that there's a lot of kids out here that's getting misled and misguided by people that got power. So, you know, other than, you know, living in Chicago in the streets and you talking a little bit more about the violent things of it, how was it, you know, trying to attain an education? Um, attaining an education was hard as well because of the people that had the influences on us didn't go to school. Those people was just persuading us to think that the way of living that they live is right. So, I mean, I see you now, you're in college, you know, you're trying to get your, pursue your degree right now. How did you you know, get away from all of that negativity and just still stay on track of your dream? Um, it started when I got introduced to playing basketball. It was just a sacred place, a different peace of mind. It showed me a different way of living and introduced me to a lot of people who could help pursue me in a positive direction. That's a good, good way to go, man. So, you know, you talk to me a lot about, you know, the bad stuff in Chicago. Do you ever wish you could live in a different place knowing all this bad stuff that's going on there? Um, no, I don't. Like, Chicago is home for me. Even though a lot of bad things take place there, there's still a lot of good in Chicago, and I still see a bright future for Chicago. So you definitely believe that Chicago can change? Yeah, I think it could change. It just got to take a lot of discipline as far as with the people who influencing the children as far as 
they just need to change the approach and show them that getting an education is important. That's a good tool, man. That's good to know, man. Thanks for talking to me. Appreciate it.